not only will AI allow you to be better at at diagnosis, you know, very early, but it can be predictive and it can look at certain people and say, there's a high likelihood you will get breast cancer in the next five years. And it will uh, will um, impact how how a particular individual is monitored. I can't talk for some reason anymore, you guys. So I apologize if I'm being inarticulate. But are are you seeing progress in that area too? Yeah, I'm so glad you mentioned that. Uh, and actually, you articulated it quite well. The story here is that there was the largest ever randomized trial of AI in medicine. It was done in Sweden with over a hundred thousand women. And the women who got randomly assigned with their mammogram to have AI plus the radiologist had 25% more cancers diagnosed. And this should be part of every person, every woman's mammogram assessment now in this country. And of course it isn't. Uh, and we're far from that. And then the other thing that you touched on is that from a normal mammogram, the AI can figure out the risk very accurately over the next five years. And in fact, a company just got FDA approval for that last week here. Wow. Uh, so this is all part of that ability to predict our liabilities of our health, major, whether it's cancer, uh, heart disease, neurodegenerative disease, AI is having a big effect. So the mammogram is just one example. 